Hey guys, welcome back to another problem solving tutorial. So in this tutorial I have this array problem and this guy seems to be struggling on how to create this uh, function which would delete an element from an array which you input. So yeah, I'll show you guys how to make this function and how to make it work. So I'll just call it array function. And I'm not sure if we've had an array problem before, but uh, we'll see. So what I'm going to do is just create this function which he wants to create but he seems to be struggling so func uh, delete element in array and he has the array I'll just leave it as ARR as he's done it int also has the index which is an int and it's going to return an array which is an int alright so it's pretty simple the first thing you want to do is create a new version of this so I'll just create var new array equals array and then we can just modify this new array dot remove at index and now that should just remove it from there and then we can just return this new array so if we just do a quick build here um, uh, let's use up to in a keychain. Uh, I'll just deny it this one time. Okay, so let's say I run it like this, and let's just see if this should work. So nothing's actually going to happen because we haven't used this function. We've just created it, and once this loads, uh, I'll just wait for this. So you can see that that's worked perfectly. Uh, there hasn't been any crashes. So now let's try and use this. So we just create an array of let's just say zero, one, two, five, and then let's say we want to remove three. So 3 is in index 0, 1, 2, 3. So 3 is in index 3. All we can do is we can do let array without 3 is equal to delete element in array and then array index 3. And then we can print this print array without 3. And let's run this again, and we should just get this array but without free. Uh, I think. Yep, there we go. So, this is quite an inefficient way of doing it because um, what you've just done here is you've just done this. Uh, I don't know, you've just. Um, you're just creating a whole function just to remove one thing. And what I can try and do is I can try and create an extension so it's a bit more seamless so I'll just do extension array and then uh, extension array where element is equal to element I think that's how it's meant to be yep wait what was it element is equal to element like that uh, and then wait let's just try this so funk delete element in array and uh, actually no I'll just do this another time because I think I forgot how the element thing works but yeah so this is basically how you guys how you fix this guy's problem thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial bye